Hello, it's Andrew. Uh, a while back, I punctured a uh, one of my GP5000 tubeless tires. And in the comments, um, I got lots of helpful suggestions. One of them was just to use a standard tube patch. So I'm going to try to do that on another tire, which I have punctured um, in a similar way. It is uh, about 4.3 millimeters, the hole cut. And, and like I said, I'm going to try with a standard tube patch. So uh, first, clean it with some alcohol. Now I've, wa I've washed the, I took all the tubeless sealant out and cleaned it up using water. But I'm going to try to clean it first with some alcohol, just to make sure I get all the sealant out. Because the sealant did work when it happened. And I'll just dry that off a little bit. And I have some sandpaper. I'm just going to make sure that I rough up the area really well. Okay, give it another swipe with the alcohol. Okay, I have my patch here. And some glue on there. Find it. even there. And this is always the tough part. Try to know when to stick it on. Just make sure that I get it on there centered. Now the curious thing will be is how well this sticks. Because obviously these weren't designed to be used in a wet environment like it will be with the sealant. So I'll be curious to see, well one, how it holds, if it holds. And then two, if the ride quality is impacted at all. I don't think that it will be because there's a pretty small amount of weight to throw in there, especially considering how much sealant is going to be rolling around inside there as well. But it will be interesting to see that. So one thing I'm curious about is whether or not I ought to leave this plastic bit in there. I guess it won't hurt. Let's see if we can't just aid the drying process here a little bit. Alright, so now it's just a matter of sticking it on the rim, which is over here, which I'll take care of. 
and then filling it up and seeing what happens. All right, so the tube is mounted, or the tire is mounted. Now I'm going to try to fill it up, and we'll see what happens. Hmm, it's not seating. Do not seat properly. So it's not seating right up here. So I had this problem hat before, and the way I fixed it was to put a tube inside and pump it up really uh, with high pressure. And then it kind of like reshaped the rim, or reshaped the edge of the tire so that it fit properly. So I think I might try that. And we'll see what happens. So before putting the tube in there, I decided to, to work my way around the rim, the rim or the edge of the tire just to manipulate it back and forth and then try to put more air into it. And it seems to be holding now. So I'm just going to pump it up really with a high pressure and leave it overnight and um, take it from there. Basically see how, how well it's holding, if it's holding. And then if that doesn't work, then I'll put the tube in there and um, push it out that way. So the patch uh, lasted overnight. The tire was able to hold uh, reasonable pressure. It did lose some pressure overnight, but that's not unexpected. Um, here's the hole, and if the patch wasn't holding at least reasonably well, the air wouldn't stay in it because uh, I cleaned out all the sealant that was there at the time, or from you know when the puncture happened. And I was going to put new sealant in, but I'm just not sure because I left the plastic bit around the patch. And I'm not sure if I should try to take that off or if I should just leave that on as well. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at what it, take the tire, depressurize the tire, have a look at it, and make the call then. So I decided I'm just going to take it off and we'll see what happens. I just don't like the idea of this thing maybe blocking the sealant from rolling f freely inside the tube. Um, I don't know that that would be a problem, but uh, it's definitely not something that should be there. So with over 200 miles on the patch, um, I have to say it has worked magnificently. And aside from the extra effort that it takes to, you know, remove the sealant and clean the tire and wheel, it was just as easy as patching a, uh, a tube. So um, thank you for all the great comments that uh, I received on the uh, previous video. And I think it was Bob D who suggested um, using just a normal tube patch. And uh, I think you mentioned the, the, the uh, brand, which in this case was a Rima tip top. Uh, but I imagine other ones would work just as well. Uh, so I'm really pleased with it. I'm going to continue to do this method to fix um, future punctures. And uh, cheers.